Hello business owners and investors. My name is Jason Norp with KW Commercial and here we talk about all things related to commercial real estate and investment. I'm in the Boise, Idaho market, but know that the things I talk about here often apply to most markets in the U.S. Today I want to talk about evaluating tenants and I want to talk about it both from a landlord and a tenant perspective. Both are important as we talk about how we're going to make a decision on who's going to be in the space. And specifically, we'll probably narrow that focus down to talking about regional or local companies. When we talk about national or credit tenants, it's kind of a different evaluation. So let's talk about the smaller businesses that might be going into a leased space. So first, let's talk about what does a landlord want? A landlord cares that the tenant's gonna pay rent. That's really one of their largest concerns. So what does that mean? That means they need to evaluate the tenant coming into this space. They need to look at personal financial statements. They need to look at business financials. They need to know that you as the tenant are going to be able to pay rent. That's one of their big concerns right out of the gate. Now they're also going to have some other concerns. They're going to worry about if it's a multi-tenant building, what the tenant mix is like in the building. Are the tenants going to be complementary to each other? We don't want to be putting a gym right next to the day spa, right, where they're trying to, those noises and um, we may have some conflicts there. They want to be concerned. They want to know that those tenants are going to get along together. They also want to know what kind of impact you're going to have on the property. They need to know if you have hazardous materials. If you might create a problem where their insurance might go up on the building because of the type of activities you do in the building. Landlords are going to be concerned about those things. Let's talk about a couple things from a tenant's perspective and what you need to be prepared for when you go to apply and try and rent some, uh, or excuse me, you... Now let's talk about things from a tenant's perspective and things that you need to prepare for as you as a tenant go to apply for leasing some commercial space. One is that you need to be prepared to talk about your own financial position. Have a business plan that describes your business, how it's gonna be financed, where that money's coming from. Have personal financial statements potentially available. They want, may want some bank statements from you. That kind of information is important to a landlord to make sure that they know that your business can be successful and that you can fulfill the lease that you're signing. I often recommend my clients create a resume. Not a resume where you're applying for a job, but a resume that outlines your strengths as a business owner and how you're gonna find success in what you do. Um, making sure that you can present yourself in a good light and show that your business is successful, or your business will be successful, your business idea is good, and that you're going to be a good fit for that building, that's what the landlord's going to want to hear. Not just a stuffy letter of intent that spells out all the terms of the lease, provide some extra information about you and about your business that will help you in that process of applying for that space. Again, as tenants and landlords work together to lease space, there's a lot of things that need to be considered. Make sure there's a landlord you're vetting your tenants well. And as a tenant, make sure that you're presenting yourself to that landlord in the, in the best light possible so they know what your business is going to do for that space and how you're going to continue to pay rent. Again, my name is Jason Norp with KW Commercial. If you're in the Boise, Idaho market, feel free to look me up. Thanks.